Hello everybody, today I want to show you this Lithonia lighting 4 foot 2 lamp strip T820 volts um, Best value in lighting, yeah that is true because I did get this for a good value 4 foot 2 lamp, well I said that already, fluorescent strip light Now I got this from Lowe's, it was in the clearance section And guess how much this cost me? That's right, it cost me a whole nine dollars. Yeah, Lowe's things have been, like have been, have had like a very like they've had a history of being marked down to ridiculous prices. I don't know what this would have cost me new. Yeah, because this does have an electronic ballast. Now let's look inside. The only F thirty two T eights that I have are are the ones or the ones in a, in a wrap around and my garage, most of those are at 40. So, well, let's look, it's a bit thin, but and, hey, what do you expect for a modern fixture? Um, so we got a Pacific ballast, yeah, very cheap, nasty ballast here. Um, F32 T8 and uh, 0.8 amps, so uh, instant start and for residential use only, Normal power factor. So yeah, this is a very terrible ballast. Normal power factor is not something you want. Give me a high power factor ballast any day. So yeah, it has two lamps and a 600 volt open circuit. Made in China, of course it is. Um, here's the, the, the thing itself. Let me turn this over so you can read the label. Made in Mexico and uh, UL listed there, of course. God, it comes with this, which is like some hardware, do not throw it away. And uh, here are the sockets, which are also incredibly cheap. But hey, this is not going to stay like this. This is going to get converted to, uh, to F40 T12 and uh, get better valves and better sockets. Well, let's put this thing together and pop some F32s in here and see how it performs. Well, it seems this fixture is actually pretty modern. Um, it was a nice upside down QR code there. Um, it was made in a Sunday 5, 2014 at 2.16 p.m. That's nice. Well, let's power it on. Um, this fixture is incredibly cheap. Um, it has multimeter probing holes, which which you wouldn't want to do with this because it's a, a ballast with a high open circuit voltage. And besides, a high frequency ballast. So it's not like this meter would be able to measure it anyways. But it might be useful for probing it with spoilers. Um, let's turn this off and also turn this off and uh, let's give it a whirl. Turn it on in three. Actually, this is not going to work. Three, two, one. It turns on and uh, it's pretty dim. Oh. Oh, yeah, these, these fluorescent tubes, it's a. Uh, and they're uh, GT8 Starcoat Ecos, so they have pretty low dose of mercury in them. But uh, the the 40 watt fixture, this thing is even with its crappy little uh, residential grade ballast, even this is better than this. But uh, these lamps probably need to warm up. It's still not bright in here. Even the 50, the 15 watt fixture. Like, two 15-watt fixtures is brighter than this. Um, okay, so, what have we got? Um, 121.6 volts, uh, 0.69 amps, uh, 51 watts. That's nothing. It's pretty crappy ballast. Uh, a power, of course, power factor 0.61 and, uh, more, it's 84 volt amps. So, yeah. Um, lessons learned with cheap, with cheap fixtures. Uh, these, and besides, these sockets don't even fit properly. They're, like, they're actually, like, when I tried putting this lamp in, these side, this side popped out because, like, it wouldn't fit properly. Lessons learned with a cheap fixture. The sockets are incredibly cheap. They, well, they, they do hold the lamps pretty well, but they pop out. So, yeah, no go. And, uh, also, this ballast right here, this ballast is horrible. Like, the lamps are just so dim i mean like i can stare at them comfortably that 15 watt fixture is legitimately like just as bright and it's not it can't even match the residential grade ballast in this 
40 watt fixture, which I'm going to be changing for, which I wanted to change for an F32 ballast, um, like a program start one. But yeah, so what a cheap thing. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Um, that's the Lithonia lighting two lamp strip light. And uh, I, will, I will not be keeping this 32 watt T8. This is the last you will see of it, 32 watt T8. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Time to get this horrible ballast out.